Signature Flight Support, the largest FBO chain in the world, has finally complied with AOPA's long-standing request to publish fees, and now they are visible in the AOPA airport directory. AOPA has made FBO pricing transparency a priority for more than five years after hearing from thousands of you who were surprised by egregious fees after parking your airplanes. These fees have included ramp fees, drop-off fees, tie-down fees, and other surcharges. AOPA President Mark Baker joins us now to talk about this incredible news that benefits GA pilots, especially as so many of you are currently planning your flight to AirVenture and looking for the best places to stop. Mark, we have received great news that Signature has made their FBO fees public in the AOPA airport directory. What kind of win is this for the GA industry? Well, it's about darn time, but it is a big win. Uh, I'll tell you, I was very frustrated for the number of years that we've asked for the major FBOs to uh, uh, be transparent about their pricing, all the pricing for in all aircraft. And uh, uh, we believe I understand that they had some system issues maybe for a while, but it just took way too long. But it is a big darn deal for people to make informed choices about where they should go with their aircraft based on the fees that may or may not be appropriate for their, their services that they need. And uh, so that's the first step in making sure that the, uh, the flying public knows what's going to know before you go. That's right. Now, I know this is something you are very passionate about yourself. And even with this big step forward, AOPA is still going to keep working to get more FBOs on board, getting their fees out. We won't be satisfied until we get them all. And we don't think it, it's just silly in today's world not to post your prices online so that the pilots can make informed decisions. It's just, I can't think of another category that people purchase anything in without knowing before you go and, or having to make a phone call to find out what's going to cost today. Um, most of us don't have flight departments that are owner operators to ha and have the time to call around to find out what all these prices are. So it's an informed choice. It's a I understand FBOs, and by the way, most of them do a really great job, and most of them are fair and doing the right thing. But if uh, if you don't find that value in that in that pricing, you can make a different decision. That's all we're asking. Yeah, that's right. Well, thank you, Mark. Uh, we'll see you coming up here at AirVenture in a few days. See you in a couple of days, Lisa. All right. Well, many independent and municipal FBO operators and a few chains, such as Atlantic Aviation, began publishing fee information in September. Centric Aviation, Meridian Air, Wilson Air Center, and Cutter Aviation have all made their fees completely transparent. However, several large chains still do not make all their ramp fees available. That includes Millionaire, Shelter Aviation, and Jet Aviation. And with a growing number of FBO fees now listed in the AOPA airport directory, you can get a complete picture of what your stop will cost, from fuel prices to FBO fees. AOPA Director of Product Development, Eric Rush, joins us now. Eric, how do we find the fees in our airport directory? Oh, thanks, Alyssa. Um, finding fees in the airport directory is very simple. Uh, we usually recommend that members or users of the directory go to our homepage, click on Pilot Resources, and then at the very bottom of that list is Airport Directory. That'll take you to a main search page where you can search either for an airport or actually for a region. Uh, in this case, we'll just do Madison, Wisconsin. And, and down under locations, I'm gonna pick the actual city of Madison and that'll center our search on a map. And the first thing we may wanna do is find fuel prices. Uh, for this case, we'll select 100 low lead and then we can add some other airport amenities that may be of interest to us. Um, I'll select paved runway and then perhaps we want a minimum length of 5,000 feet. Any other amenities that are important can be selected. Do a search with the blue button, and that will take you in center of the map, pretty much in the Madison, Wisconsin area. And you'll see the first thing you'll see is color coded fuel prices. If you don't see the color coded fuel prices automatically, there is a little button over here on the left that says show fuel prices. Turn that on, and you will see fuel prices for 100 low lead that are color coded from low, which will be the green icons, the whole way up to high, which are the red icons. Um, here, we'll click on this one, which is Dane County Regional, just as an example. Clicking on the card that pops up will take us to the airport details page, where we can get all the information we need about the, that airport. And as we scroll down in the overview section, there is a small section here called fees. And this is the easiest way to get in and act to see the fees for that particular FBO. In this case, it's Wisconsin Aviation at Madison. We click on that. It centers me on the fee details section. And in here, we have a filter that allows a user to select the type of aircraft they're flying. 
for this demonstration, I'll pick small single engine piston, and then we can see all the fuel prices that are available. In this case, there's seven different, one, different ones ranging from $10 up to $40, depending on the service or the type of fee. All right. Well, thank you, Eric. That's so helpful. We can, you know, see and start adding up what those fees are going to be like. Anything else, uh, tips and tricks for using the airport directory to really maximize the information they can get? Yeah, the, the airport directory is a very thorough place to go and find information. We have all the airport diagrams that are out there. There are satellite views so you can get a better idea of the surrounding area, uh, approach procedures, terminal procedures, uh, just anything you're going to want uh, as far as your flight is available in our directory. Well, thanks for Eric. We appreciate the demo. Safe, good. Have a good time. See you all in Oshkosh. Thank you. AOPA estimated that about 25% of the FBO industry had instituted voluntary fee transparency by the end of 2021, and signatures data will significantly increase that percentage. So check out our airport directory as you plan your flights. You'll be a lot better informed of the prices you'll encounter at a stop, and hopefully we can eliminate those nasty surprise bills.